Ten years ago I was on an airplane flying into Heathrow and as we were descending the pilot came on the intercom and he said there'll be a slight delay and then he said if you are hoping to take the tube into London find alternate transportation as the tube's not running I'm not sure how people were supposed to do that from the airplane I had a car rental so I wasn't worried and then he finished it up by saying because there's been a terrorist related incident and that was the end of the announcement he left us to stew in our seats speculating about what the heck that could mean when we did land the airport was full of soldiers carrying machine guns and whatnot I supposed at the time that that was to give us a sense of security to reassure us that the government was doing its job, looking out for us. Though I couldn't help but think it made the situation less safe, if anything. All it would take would be for someone to panic, or make a false move, and then the boys in green would potentially let loose a barrage of bullets down the hallway and do the terrorists' job for them. In retrospect, I almost think that they were there to elevate the level of fear, you know, communicate the national anxiety and let everybody experience the appropriate gravitas for the event, rather than just letting it be something that affected only the people that it affected. Anyway, when I got to the place to pick up the car, the TV was on, the newspaper was there and people were talking about what had happened and well we all now know what had happened on the 7th of July 2005